Welcome to the Dartmouth Plays of the Week, presented by Milton Cat, your area cat dealer. The Plays of the Week showcase the best big green plays each week as seen on ESPN Plus and other media outlets. Now settle in and enjoy the ride, for these are the Dartmouth Plays of the Week. Senior Cade Kretschmar put his power on display at Harvard this past weekend, belting a home run in each of the two big green victories. After Harvard had scored a run in the bottom of the seventh to close the gap to three runs, Kretschmar quickly answered by popping up the first pitch to the opposite field over the fence in left center. Dartmouth went on to win the game by a score of 8-6. to six. Then, in the series finale, the left-handed hitter yanked a 1-0 offering over the tall fence in right for a two-run bomb, his sixth of the year to tie him for the team lead and give the Big Green an insurmountable 9-1 lead in the fifth. He leads the team and ranks fourth in the Ivy League with his 645 slugging percentage and is third in the Ancient Eight with 42 RBIs. After dropping the first game at Harvard, the softball team made sure to get off to a better start in game two, as freshman Alana Panu crushed a two-run home run in the top of the first, her third of the season, for a quick 2-0 lead. Two pitches later, junior Kate Farron followed the rookie's lead, blasting her fourth round tripper of the year for back-to-back jacks in a 3-0 lead. Panu went on to be named the Ivy League's Rookie of the Week. Freshman Katina Christensen scored her third hat trick of the season against Cornell on Saturday in the team's season finale. Christensen finished with three goals and two assists. With Dartmouth clinging to an 8-5 lead in the fifth inning of the second game at Harvard, the Crimson had already scored two runs and had runners on second and third with nobody out. Cue the big green defense as freshman Alana Panu made this tremendous catch at the fence, robbing a home run and holding Harvard to just one run scoring. Closing the gap at two, at eight to six, on the very next pitch, another freshman, Jenna Brown, caught a fly ball in center and gunned down the runner at the plate for an inning ending double play. Dartmouth went on to win the game 11 to six. Dartmouth was well in control of the third game at Harvard with a 14-2 lead in the bottom of the seventh. But Harvard was hoping to put together some kind of rally with runners on first and second with nobody out. But senior Bryce Daniels snared a line drive, then dove for second base to beat the runner to the bag and pull off an unassisted double play. The Crimson went quietly from there as the Big Green won the blowout by a 15-2 final. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Dartmouth Plays of the Week, presented by Milton Cat. For sales and rentals of Caterpillar machinery and generators, visit MiltonCat.com. Milton Cat, your area cat dealer.